Hi guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are doing good day, uh, having a good day today. Uh, so let's just look at the market and see what's going on right here. Uh, you guys can see the dollar is under pressure now and the bound is the best performance. Uh, so really bound dollars from what does appear right here is only a buy you can see it's going like crazy i did break this down where the channel is going up here that's probably was the best entry once it's broken to the top side here uh, i don't know maybe now it's too late to buy uh this is not the best entry to enter a buy now it's too late for our time frame <coughs> excuse me guys i have not come today much because I just have cough today all day so it's not great uh, I would not join that buy I would just let it go up then in the way coming back then we would sell it okay in the small time frame so look at that that was a good entry and that was a good entry so if you missed it you missed it if you got it you're good for you uh, if you trade kind of correctional like this ones you catch it in a smaller time frame in our system like you know even though in our time frame was good right here uh, if you trade breakouts then this breakout of the trend line also would offer uh, a buy opportunity uh, but now also this is too small in the daily time frame uh, that was a reversal and that's bullish one so you should wait a little bit uh, if you entered one trade it's probably okay but uh, don't uh, don't uh, you cannot sell now you have to wait till it does reverse or cool off a little bit because the bound is the strongest and the dollar is the weakest so that's <laughs> getting really really bullish okay but uh, also the USD news was really really negative today the employment news so that's probably one of the reasons the dollar index did crash bang look at the dollar index that's what also the euro is going up so the, the dollar index does continue, did not break the upside, it does continue to range in this area. Uh, okay, so that's uh, probably going to find like Euro is very strong against the dollar and the bound. And, and also Frank, three of them are going to be against the dollar is strong. Then also Australia and New Zealand in the same set. <coughs> okay, uh, looking at the stock market right here. First of all, gold did crash so bad as the... Uh, uh, profit taken and there was this news about fake uh, fake gold is going on in, in China and all that stuff anyway so this should go as with the forecast we expected one wave down uh, from here or there to this level 1740 so do not buy gold now this only for sell it should come all the way down okay uh, looking back at our system, see what's going on right here. So, guys, you can see the bound is strong, euro strong. Those are also correlated. Uh, many times, the one the bound is strong is going to take the euro up with it, and the vice versa. Uh, many times, not all the time. So, the bound and the euro also correlated. Uh, you can see the dollar is really weak, but the franc is not weak. So, you can know that's not a, uh, a risk on market kind of, or or the stock is going up this just the dollar is weak that's all because there is negative news so from what can i see is that's a good opportunity to wait for this dollar to go all the way down then we buy it if you guys look at the trades here what to buy what to sell the system is giving you all <coughs> excuse me uh, so euro dollar is a buy uh, but i will not join that one bound dollar is very very bullish as the dollar is really weak and the bound is very very strong that's why the bound dollar was 5.4 uh bound japanese also and bound canadian canadian was weak as the oil was coming down and some negative news from the canadian from yesterday and today and stuff uh, so you can see this direction of the market uh euro canadian is going up now if you guys did join the buy it's good for you if you didn't then maybe you should wait to join the sell uh, if we look at the dollar index is under so much pressure right now so I would not uh, recommend to touch the dollar now and don't buy that one it's too late first second we expect the long term to go up <coughs> excuse me guys
Okay, guys, so that's uh, that's not great. Uh, this is a range, and it's very clear right here. We expected last week, we if we can break above here, retest, then the second level will be right here. Then we would be ranging at the top level right here. But this scenario did not happen. We did get back from the sub, from the resistance area right here. If it didn't close above it, just you know, you can see this line exactly was the was the price right here. So really, then bang after, then continuously going down. So really, uh, that one level and that the big one is the second level. Okay, uh, this uh, price you should be waiting to hopefully we get a reversal like that one then we buy a lower price so it's, uh, it's probably a better a better plan now we should wait this one to come all the way down then take a buy it can reverse it from here or from there it's it's possible everything is possible uh, but when it's coming down so strong as the dollar has been sold off it's probably better to wait a little bit it's too risky to get in. However, if you catch it, then it'll be really fantastic, but it's a little bit too risky, okay? Uh, the euro is doing a correction, correction wave up. So really, that was a nice sell. We did catch uh, euro Canadian sell, it was really nice. Uh, so this is a correction wave, guys. Uh, I will not buy euro now. It's too late and there's no good. I would wait to sell that level or that level. So, okay, wait to sell euro against, let's say, CAD, uh, but not now. Okay, so if we go back to the euro CAD, which we discussed before uh, that was a perfect perfect entry we did catch it here so the plan now and we entered in our group uh, early today so the plan now <coughs> i don't think it's gonna reach all the way up i think only it's gonna go to one point uh, 1.340 uh, okay so this level we want to buy is only 1.3 so 1.53 1 uh, okay this is the level we want to sell Okay, guys, I don't think it's gonna go all the way up. I, I probably take a lot here and watch it. Then if it does go up here and coming back, then I would sell again. But really, you don't want to buy that one now. It's too late. Uh, you wait. You want to wait a, to get a really good sell. Okay, so that's when you have a plan. Uh, we did catch this sell, multiple sells of that Eurocad. We have done fantastic in this one. Okay, guys. So I think that was good. Uh, Eurocad has been playing with this level right here. And you can see the euros, the, the sorry, the USD is weak. Same, same thing as CAD is weak. That's why it's been ranging right here. Okay. Our long-term uh, forecast to come down here. And uh, okay, guys. Uh, if we do look at the DAX, it's been ranging. If you guys want to catch some trades, you can see this is a range of market. It's terrible. And nothing really fantastic. There's nothing to be proud of. It's a terrible market. Uh, so. Really, if you we have we have bought that channel in the weekly forecast, I think the market still respecting that channel. Uh, I think this is the channel kind of we are trading in right now. So till till this is broken, nothing nothing serious is happening right here. Uh, this eventually is gonna break to the upside, not to the downside. Either that one or or the big one, the big channel, okay? Which is this one, guys, okay? That one. Uh, worst case scenario, come all the way down here. Okay, uh, <coughs> sorry, but really for for small profit, you just wanna wait to come here and then buy. Okay, if we make it a little bit bigger, then that's that's the way right here, guys. Okay, if we if we kind of make a copy from here to this one right here, so make okay. So those are the two levels. If we change color just to make it really easy. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry, that's probably. Uh, let's make it kind of brown a little bit. That's uh, empty for they need to improve that stuff, hopefully. Uh, okay. We talked previously about some sales from the high price here, but the market has been ranging. That's not the best market to trade, okay? That's not that's not wonderful. Uh, you know, that's terrible. When the market is only ranging in, in 300 points. By the time you get to the re reversal and you catch the trade, it's only 150 points and you're out really drives you crazy one time you're good one time you don't you're bad so this market is the worst kind of market so it's it's really bad market it's not good it's really in the range of market okay some people get really good into it and sometimes it works out good but uh, when the market is so small it's it's bad but let's say eurocad see that's a, that's a good range of market because the range the range in eurocad Compared to the volatility of the Eurocad, 300 bips. So the range is really good. 
Okay, compared to the volatility of the DAX, the range is uh, 300 points. That's terrible. That's bad. Okay. Oh, I hope this is makes sense. Okay, guys, so this is the difference between that range and the DAX range. The same thing uh, for the SBX and the Dow. They're all, all the same scenario. We live in the same situation, right? Uh, really, what can you trade from that stuff, you know? You can just keep taking small profit here and there, uh, but it's not really great. It's not the perfect market. What you trade, five minutes time frame is very difficult to, kind of market to trade. It's not, it's not good. I think also till the till the the holiday is done, and uh, then the market probably is gonna keep going this way. Okay, guys. Uh, so guys, this did come back from here. Then is testing. So possibly that's the second level we have right here. Uh, this was for that one. So if you want to take a sell from here, that's a probably early sell, but that's maybe good. Okay. The second level is right here. I don't think we're gonna break to the upside and we're gonna have a dollar crash. Uh, not most likely, okay? Not most likely. Everything can happen in the market, but I don't think that's most likely to happen. Uh, I just wanted to look at the oil before we kind of... Okay, guys, the oil for me is only a sell. Uh, I think that's a good sell for me, okay? So for me, oil is only a sell, so I'm going to sell oil. Uh, that's a good price to sell. And also the stop loss is not too far. I bought stop loss here. Okay, just like, you know, 100, 100 points of stop loss, which is not is not too bad. Okay, uh, the, A, the ABC system is giving me a signal here in the 15 minute time frame, so I'm happy with it. <coughs> I'll put the stop loss a little bit higher than the system, which is okay also. Then I will, uh, and we're close to the top here. If we look at that, uh, you know, uh, those two levels we put before, then I'll probably go here. Hopefully you can get 37 or something. Uh, so this is my cell for the WTI. I'll put it here, guys. If someone wants to join, risk one percent only thirty nine point thirty seven sell oil and stop loss hundred points and uh, take profit two hundred points. So risk one to two and only one percent risk. Okay. So please follow the. Uh, the rules of the game so you can uh, stay for a long time okay then if we go here and we just uh, play with this to make it look better we don't want 42 okay so that's probably better like this okay guys uh, and that's that's still our forecast we expect the oil to crash okay so hopefully we will get a nice crash and that's that's it when there is a big positions holding and the holders of the position they get long time, there's no movement. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, they need to let some of the positions uh, out. They kind of, you know, let it breathe a little bit. So the price need to come back down, then get higher momentum, then go back up. So that's kind of what I can see right here. If you want to stop bigger stop loss, you probably should go above here. Uh, but if you don't want too big, then you want to take the chance then here. Uh, but... It's still it's still working on it. Hopefully we can get a, a good run. Uh, we discussed the euro bound yesterday. I think uh, the system did give a good signal. It did work out good. So congratulations for you guys if you did catch that one. Also bound Australia. And we said yesterday if you take this buy, your stop loss should be right here. I think this worked out not too bad. And we put the target here. So this is running about from this area. I think we entered. That's running about 80 80 pips. So I hope it works out good. Uh, your Australian really sucks, has been going in this range, which is terrible. Uh, that's not good. Okay, that's terrible, terrible. So really, <laughs> we said in the weekly forecast, if we can get our run to the upside to here, just like Eurocad, okay? 
then later on we can sell it all the way down to here that will be that will be really nice and uh, we can make profit in this one otherwise really this is this is waste and the reason for that is the euro and the australian has been moving australian is not moving australian index is barely moving that's why uh, the euro did come down a little bit then it's reversing back up now so there was some movement in this one there was like 160 bips but nothing nothing big is not as big as the euro cad okay because the canadian was uh, more volatile than the australian that's why a euro, euro cad was a better trade than your australian uh, anyway, if you did sell that one, you probably should get out and you should be start to look into sell again if the price does go up. Do not join this uh, buy. This buy is no good. Okay. Uh, so that was for the uh, euro card, uh, euro dollar. Uh, you can say we are not interested in this buy. We want to wait to this buy to finish. Uh, we may get kind of, you know, a uh, double top in this area, then bouncing back. Let's see what happened. Uh, anyway. Uh, the, the news did take the dollar index down, so that's why euro dollar is bouncing back to the upside right here, and it's kind of going against what we expected a little bit. Hey Mukesh, how are you? Nice, Mukesh, for the gold. Thanks, Lemmy. Uh, Australian Canadian, you guys, we said that's not a good bear to trade. It's going to be very slow. We discussed this one already before. Hi, Andrew. Welcome, man. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, oil, we said the oil uh, is a sell. I hope it goes well. Uh, bound dollar is too late to buy now. Wait for bound dollar tomorrow or something. Uh, Euro dollar and bound dollar, guys. <coughs> They're going up now. So if you did join the buy early, it's good for you. It's too late now to buy them, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I will not buy that price already. It's too late. It's finished. You cannot buy that one. Almost close to 1.13. Even if it's gonna go to 1.14, wait to take the sell. For on a price level and, and management, it's not good to take that buy, even if you know it's gonna go 100 bips. You should wait to go up, then you short it from the top side. Okay, that will be a better scenario. Uh, the oil, we are right here. We're having this candle below that one, so kind of we are below the, the cloud. So I like to see this. Hopefully, we can get something, uh, hopefully, uh, something like this one see that once we are below the cloud uh, Go sideways a little bit then we get you know two three candles crash in the price big time Then we just take our profit and we move uh, out of the trade So uh, it looks like it's gonna go down. It's point to the downside. Okay, if it does go up hit stop loss is not the end of the world It's one trade is didn't work out good, but so far we are thinking this is uh, a sell uh, not a buy Hey guys, if each one of you let us know what kind of trades does he have uh, open in his account and what trades did work out to be really good. If he closed some trades in profit, just uh, if you share with us what kind of trades you closed with profit today and kind of approximate how much profit. So just... Uh... <coughs> Uh, thanks guys for the support and the likes for the channel and if YouTube ask you about uh, how the channel is kind of useful and stuff like that That's really supporting us and the YouTube is spreading our videos and stuff and we can see that in the weekly forecast uh, Getting more views. Uh, so hopefully this will help us and support us to kind of uh, perform better and do more professional uh, videos and uh, tips and stuff. So I hope this will be uh, good for everyone. Uh, if you guys, anyone has a good uh, idea about a trade, please uh, share your opinion with the members. This is just an open discussion for all of you guys. So uh, my speech is 50-50, so I could be wrong at any time. So please, you feel free to put your opinion. If you think it's a good trade, you can put it, say, you know what, 
I opened that trade if you guys uh, interested to join it's your choice like that so we can join if you if you think there's a good trade you are in please by all means are most welcome to share it with the group uh, we are here kind of to help each other so not not no one is gonna be 100% right all the time okay so we are here the main purpose is to help each other so that's why uh, it would be good if you guys can share that uh, you can see the oil is coming down here so really I would like I would like to see this big candle you guys watch the oil because this oil I watched for a long long time so kind of I get the feeling of it okay <laughs> when you see the oil is making like this you know you're gonna get like 60 70 points candle very fast like bang so it, it, if this will happen the scenario will happen then the price will drop from 39 33 to like uh, 38 20 or 38 uh, 50 like that like bang it's not gonna go uh, five uh, ten uh, points it will go 100 points at the, at the time just watch this watch the number 39 28 so 39 28 is like it should crash if it's gonna work the way I expect it should crash very, very fast Hi, welcome, Andrew. Uh, so Ken here saying SPX broke that three three zero fifty yesterday. Yes, good catch. So we said that the three zero fifty is the reference between buyer and sellers. If you're above, you're kind of a buy, and you want to take this up wave. If you're below, confirm. Then you want to take a correction down wave. We know the longer term forecast for SPX is like three thousand three hundred. So this is going up. It's going to shoot up a longer term. It's just this is a correction wave after a really uh, big grand up wave. Uh, hey Kevin from Kenya, how's it going, man? Australian uh, USD. So you guys, we discussed that everything against the USD. Now we need to wait a little bit. Let let the dollar index uh, bottom, then reverse. Then we're gonna we're gonna start selling things against the dollar. But now it's too early, I believe. Uh, bound dollar is too, is too early to sell now. You should wait till you get a reverse. Uh, thanks, man. New Zealand Canadian. New Zealand Canadian, probably avoid it. Australian Canadian, New Zealand Canadian. All those three against each other, just avoid them. There's no money in them. Special cases. Emmanuel saying that Eurocad was in profit almost 100 bips now turn against me. I don't know if you're in a buy or a sell. Eurocad, uh, just let me know, Emmanuel. Uh, bound Canadian is good for buy. It's probably a little bit late. It depends on what kind of risk you want to take. Uh, if you want to take a risk, but kind of if you do sell the oil, then you would expect the Canadian to get weak. Then you take the buy of, of bound CAD. Really, you're both in the same risk in the same currency, doing the same thing over and over. So if the oil will go up, then you will lose in the oil trade, then you will lose in the pound Canadian. So for uh, Bamala, we already discussed the pound dollar. Australian, Japanese yen, New Zealand, Japanese yen. Uh, we will not buy Australian, Japanese yen, New Zealand, Japanese yen now. Uh, wait when the stock market's coming down, we short them. 
Uh, Osam is asking if we can sell the bound after this one hour bearish. Uh, probably not. You should wait a little bit. New Zealand USD, just like Australian USD and Euro USD, you should wait till the dollar index cool off a little bit. It's, it's crashing down. We need to see the dollar reverting. And do not buy Australian dollar or New Zealand dollar. That's a buy. Uh, that's a bad price to buy right now. Uh, Euro franc, just ignore this currency. is is not good. Uh, Harun saying euro franc and I don't like to trade euro franc. It's just uh, It's just I don't like this currency. It's so manipulated by the bank and because what happened before those 2000 uh, bips a drop So really you don't want to touch this one if they do it again at any time then they'll Euro franc is so manipulated by the Swiss franc bank. So really I don't want to touch it Okay guys, so this is okay it is not is not crashing yet, but it's okay. So it's okay. It's okay. I will let you know that once we break this level, then everybody's gonna pay attention to it. Then they're gonna sell. So really, you just need this crash from here to here. It should be really fast. Okay. If this will happen, if this scenario will happen, and the price will crash below the thirty eight sixty. Then from 38.60 to 37.20 is going to be really fast if this scenario will happen, okay? Uh, for the... You guys, Japanese scene is going down, so can, I can tell you now what we can catch. Bound. Bound. Maybe going up further. Uh, Australian, Australian, Japanese yen maybe maybe offering a good sell right now for short term. Okay, so if we uh, but let's say gold, guys, is going really good. Okay, so we discuss the gold being a sell is going really good. Uh, bound Australian, also we discussed that one. So so that's uh, that's good, guys. Okay, that's really good. Bound Australian, it it should get, hit the target really easy, I believe. That's the target we bought yesterday. So, and this from this area, I believe this will be 170, 180 pips. That's really good. Okay, guys. If you guys look at the daily, uh, that's really good entry to, to enter. That's not bad. I can actually put this one here. So this this may work out really good for like three three hundred four hundred pips guys even maybe more if the bound will get strong in the coming uh, week uh, this and that's that's possible okay so this may work out really good uh, for a little, for some time so watch out guys this is may end up being good for for some time. If you guys want to join this, uh, it may work out good. Okay. It's a little bit, you know, it's because bound with the news and stuff, so bound is a little bit risky.
Okay, so guys, this is in the four hour time frame. That's the first really nice green candle here. So this is a big potential for this one. And if this will work out really good, then we kind of did catch the really, really bottom yesterday, guys. Okay, so that would be really nice. We discussed this by yesterday and we said put the stop loss here, just right below the real bottom in the daily frame. That will be, see guys, this small green right there. I'll expand it right here, that one. We said yesterday to buy and put the stop loss below here. It, it never came back to it. That was really fantastic. It does work out like that. That will be just one time happening. It does happen a lot. <laughs> So guys, let's uh, see. That's the first target, but this may extend above that one. So don't buy, buy uh, don't sell bound dollar right now. This is too too early to sell. Okay, wait, because if this is broken, okay, which is maybe, you may get up all the way, all the way up to here. So really, again, to 1.27, but that's not a good entry. Do not buy bound dollar. I would buy bound Australian, but not bound dollar. Okay. So if you guys want to buy bound, it will be bound dollar, uh, but, uh, sorry, bound Australian, Australian dollar. Let's see what happened in the oil. Oh, the oil is reversing back up. So let's see what happened to it, if it's going to, okay. As oil is going back against us, so let's see if this is going to continue in the bigger, uh, the one hour time frame is going to continue up. We'll try to catch this sell in the uh, half hour time frame. So let's see how it's going to end up being. Okay, guys, the SPX right here, we talked about the 3050 level, which is right above here, it did break above, that has continuously been going up. Uh, your Australian guys may offer a good buy. Uh, just if you do it, then your stop loss must be right here, okay? Because uh, if the stock market will continue going up, I think this is going to come back down. Uh, the dollar index you can see still pushing down. That's that's the day you guys can see this is in a range and area, right? We what's Australian is not moving at all. So Canadian again is the bound, so bound Canadian probably was the best to buy. Still the same, so that's the dollar right here. And if you look at the daily range, it's the second daily, is the second day down. So this is still going the correction wave, guys, okay? This is still going to the correction wave. Uh, so this may come all the way down here. That's why you don't hurry up and sell in Euro dollar or bound dollar yet, wait a little bit more. Wait to come here or there, then bounce back, then go in a, in a good rate. Okay, guys, so that was uh, about half an hour. Uh, sorry, I'm not that feeling great still. I have allergy to the hot weather. Uh, so we're going to call it good for now. I hope this was kind of overview of the market. So guys, the market is not the best this day, so please make sure you use a small lot size. Uh, take only 1% risk. Uh, the USD CHF will just be going exactly with the dollar index. So we discussed, do not touch it now, wait to come down, then reverse, and then we're going to be buying later on. Uh, not now. Uh, so, uh, it was my pleasure for you guys joining me today. I uh, thank you for joining and uh, for your input and uh, for support uh, for the support of the channel and i hope you guys will be in profit and the things work out good for you please make sure you use a small lot size uh, because the market is not the best market the stock market has been ranging really bad dollar index has been ranging uh the euro also the drop is bouncing back up 
So everything is just range and uh, very few trades are good. So please make sure you use uh, risk management. Okay, guys, thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.